Amarillo got Raising Canes earlier this week. And the drive up has been literally taken over the the south side of Amarillo, it seems like. It is ridiculous. Wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. It is ridiculous. And we actually had to wait in line for about 35, 40 minutes to get to Raising Canes because we spent 40 minutes in the drive up. If I can get 50 likes, that would be greatly appreciated. Baby Love tells me I'm going to like this more than Chicken Express, but we will have to wait and see. So without further ado, let go. What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Shop here, and I'm coming at you with another food review. Look who's back from the dead. I say that because little miss over here got into a car wreck last week. So. A week ago today. Yeah. So. She's, Sold my car. That's another reason there was no food or drink review. Was one, we were moving stuff, and two, the wick. But anyway, she's fine. She's good. She's just. Sore. Sore and full of bruises. But uh, I swear to God, none of those were for me. None of those were for me. Nope, all from the seatbelt. <laughs> I have heard nothing but amazing things about Raising Cane's. She says I'm going to like it better than Chicken Express. His we mom will, took me last night, we will which wait me and up see. From work. We will wait and see because I love Chicken Express. But she said this is like a Chicken Express Chick-fil-A hybrid baby. That sounds awesome because I actually had Chick-fil-A Tuesday afternoon for lunch. And I had Chicken Express Wednesday afternoon for lunch. And now Thursday after. Thursday night, I'm having Raisin Cane's. We got two box combos. It includes four chicken fingers, crinkle cut fries, side of coleslaw, Texas toast, cane sauce, cane sauce. and a drink. a drink, which y'all know it's in my cup. Say it with me, baby. Say it with me, everybody. Texas style. And coming at you live, 3D. You gotta do it too. Double. He never lets me do it too. Double action. Ha! Dang. You're just further than mine. I want to give a shout out to my piglet, Troy, who told me to try this literally like 10 minutes ago. Well, not 10 minutes ago, like an hour ago. We were in line for about 30 minutes. That's how ridiculous it is. When we get a new place here, we're here forever. So, let's open these bad boys up. Oh, that looks amazing. It looks amazing. Already, I mean, just look, just look, look at that. That looks fantastic. It looks like a cross between Chick-fil-A and, and uh, Chicken Express. What's the cane sauce? Like? Jesus. You can't say things like that. <laughs> it's like ranch in Thousand Island. I'm going to love it because those are my two favorite salad dressings. It's so good. Coleslaw, Texas toast, crinkle cut fries, cane sauce. And the Texas toast is cool. It's like, it's got sesame seeds. Oh, like I just saw that. That's awesome. Look at that. Sesame seed, Texas toast. That is pretty sick. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this in some of the cane sauce, and you guys are about to see the first time of me trying Raising Cane's. I'm excited. Let's go. That's amazing. <laughs> I told you. A lot more tender than Chicken Express. Chicken Express has really good chicken, but it's not like fall off inside your mouth chicken. This is a tender. It is a tender chicken. Like the inside of that is just straight up tender. Look at that. That is, that's damn good chicken. Oh, you couldn't even see it because I didn't have it there. Yeah. Just flakes it off. just flakes off. Can I get all this under eight bucks? I told you. Am I dreaming? No. She's right. It is like a ranch and Thousand Island sauce. So it's almost like Mac sauce. Yeah, almost. It's, it's almost like Mac sauce. It's got a little bit more spice to it. But Mac sauce is pretty much Thousand Island anyway. So I'm gonna try a little bit of the coleslaw. Coleslaw is usually a 50-50 uh, shot for me, but. I wouldn't say this is their best feature. The coleslaw is not the best. Not the best. Cause like, it's weird because I love KFC's coleslaw, but I hate Long John Silver's coleslaw. It's just, it, it's literally a 50-50 coin flip. So let's try some of the coleslaw. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not bad. Could definitely use more mayonnaise. Yeah. With that, it needs more mayonnaise. Like it's like it's good, but there's not enough like sauce in the coleslaw. Yeah, it's not very creamy. Mm. It's just 
just kind of there. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Guess what's going in the food review? <laughs> just no, no, it's given. Nothing given. Now I'm gonna try the crinkle cut fries. Is it crinkle cut fries good? Yes. They're good, but not as good as Brahms. Brahms probably has the best crinkle cut fries I've ever had, like ever. I don't think I've ever had Brahms crinkle cut. Oh, it was amazing, especially with a milkshake. Mm. I love it. Last thing, the Texas toast. Mm. A little bit of sesame seed. So let's do this. Oh wow! Is there any garlic in that at all? No. Well. That, it, that that tastes garlic. Like it is like Texas garlic bread. Or maybe just the butter just has a flavor to it. Y'all, I'm impressed. I am absolutely impressed. I think, like she said, I have found my new favorite chicken joint. But we haven't tried Bush's yet. Bush's is a new That's place true. that came in. So Bush's could probably be the dark horse and top all the chicken places, but who knows? So one thing I like, one thing I dislike, and then my overall rating. One thing I like is, that's probably the most tender chicken I've ever eaten at a fast food chicken joint. The closest I've ever gotten was probably Chicken Express, and that was topped today with Raisin Cane's. One thing I dislike is probably the coleslaw. Coleslaw is one of those things that I think could use some improvements, but it's probably a recipe that they've had since they opened up the restaurant, so they're probably not gonna fix a thing. And I'm okay with that. If the coleslaw is the one thing I'm complaining about with this combo, then you're doing something right. On a scale of one to 10 piglets, I'm gonna have to give the box combo from Raisin Cane's. What do you think? 10? She's right. I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. Pork chops, kick ass seal of approval, and it's gonna be right there, bam. I love this new favorite chicken joint in town. I wish that they did give us a side of gravy. I love gravy with my chicken tenders and my french fries and my toast. But the cane sauce is amazing though. But if they could like get rid of the coleslaw and give me gravy, I would be all gravy. So guys, thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. And once again, thanks to Troy for this recommendation and baby love telling me predicting in her beautiful crystal ball that I was gonna like this better than Chicken Express. If you guys could please leave those 50 likes as well as a recommendation where you wanna see me eat, you will get a shout out just like Troy did and you won't be disappointed and please subscribe to Become a Piglet. Go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Snapchat and always remember my little piglets call it Fort Shop. Loves y'all the most, this y'all take it easy guys and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys! <laughs>